The NTC is an Army combat training center that prepares units for possible large-scale conflicts before deploying. Supporting those efforts meant the unit had to unload vehicles and equipment previously ready to ship to the NTC for training, and then reload it before deploying to the training center plans for the National Guard's annual training are looking more collaborative after social distancing themes the past few years. Some of the 54 units have plans for large-scale, combined deployment readiness training this year. Pennsylvania's 56th Striker Brigade Combat Team, 28th Infantry Division is sending more than 3,500 soldiers to the NTC at Fort Irwin, California, where they'll practice offensive and defensive combat operations. Close to 600 soldiers from Tennessee's 30th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion, 230th Sustainment Brigade are also attending the mass deployment training at NTC, where they'll provide logistics and supply support for the 56th. Guardsmen from Georgia's 277th Maintenance Company will also use AT to get back to the basics and put their skills to the test. They'll travel to Camp Shelby, Mississippi, in support of the Army Reserve's 206th Transportation Company's pre-mobilization training. As the 206th accomplishes driver's training, 277th Company Commander First Lieutenant Ashley Sanford said her team would be there to ensure unserviceable vehicles won't impede the mission at hand. Assembling at the NTC isn't an opportunity that comes around often. Especially for units outside of brigade combat teams, said Utah Army National Guard Major Adam Ashworth, an administrative officer with the 65th Field Artillery Brigade. For those units, the NTC can send a support package or exportable combat training capability to designated locations for brigades like the 65th to also get battle drills in. Close to 3,000 National Guard soldiers are expected to attend XCTC in Idaho this summer. In addition to the 1,200 soldiers coming from Utah, soldiers from California and North Carolina will also join the three-week-long exercise. Guam's National Guard will travel to Camp Roberts, California, where another XCTC is occurring this year. The island's 105th Troop Command encompasses a range of mission sets, from engineering to the units band. As the command's 1,224th Engineer Support Company prepares for its upcoming federal mobilization, its Hotel Company, 29th Infantry Brigade Company Team, 29th Brigade Support Battalion, will perform the XCTC rotation in support of the 1st Battalion, 294th Infantry Regiment, also from Guam. 
Lieutenant Colonel David P. Santos Jr., 105th Troop Commander, said the unit also is focusing on its community mission with natural disaster training ahead of Guam's typhoon season. The 109th Airlift Squadron with the Minnesota Air National Guard's 133rd Airlift Wing is taking its out to the Pacific for Valiant Chiel. The joint service exercise occurs every two years in Joint Region Marianas with operating areas that include Naval Base Guam and Anderson Air Force Base, plus surrounding islands like Rota, Sapin and the Republic of Palau. Pilots and maintainers from the 109th will travel to the exercise in their C-130 Hercules aircraft and provide tactical airlift operations to support joint all-domain warfare training. The HERC will perform supply and equipment movement for all of the branches through different methods, including real-world airdrops and specialized refueling operations.